This is my strife. And there are many like it, but this one is mine. Hey everyone, back here today for an overview video of my personal strife. I built this several months ago, regardless of the fact I already had a thoroughly overhauled strife, because I just enjoyed the thought of going back to the workbench and doing things correctly with the extra experience and skills I had gained. Externally, you can see an amalgamation of 3D printed parts, including the flared magwell by yours truly, the barrel attachment ring by Adrian Kelly, the rev trigger and mag release by Michelle from Foam Blast, the trigger by Ultrasonic 2, the handle cap by Flechette Spectre, and the 180 motor cover by the Lone Wolf 052. All of these are available on Thingiverse and linked in the description below. Finally, there's Sling Point by Worker, and apart from that, we'll need to take a closer look into the internals of the blaster to see the rest of what I have done to it. Now looking inside, you can get a cursory glance over what's in the blaster. Everything has been rewired with 16 gauge silicone wire with 24 gauge for signal currents. The motors are a pair of FK180PH-3735-45 slash 2s. They're not quite as torquey as some of the motors we use nowadays. But they only cost about a quarter each. The motors are, well, again, just ABS worker wheels, standard crush. Especially as I live in China, they're only a bit over $5 directly off Taobao. They're not the greatest in quality, but they're nice for how much you pay. The flywheel cage is a 43mm open flywheel project cage printed in PETG. The PETG is for more heat resistance and really, it's more for peace of mind for myself in this build than anything else. Furthermore, you may see the voltmeter wire channel here, which is designed by Michelle from Foam Blast again. I really have to hand it to Michelle for designing this as this part was exactly what I wanted for a voltmeter mount going into a build like this. So shout out to her, thanks for that. And it's wired to activate on jam door open. Apart from that, it should also be noted that the trigger from Ultrasonic 2 doesn't just look pretty, it also utilizes the full stroke of the Strife's trigger pull. Finally, the entire blaster also utilizes an IRF-1404 MOSFET. Is it really necessary actually? No, switches in our hobby are actually quite robust being run over what seems to be their rated current capability. However, I just wanted to challenge myself, and that about wraps up this video. Any feedback is appreciated. Alright, what should be next? An overview video on Rectify, or a review of the Foxfire modular blaster system? Leave it down in the comments below, I'd appreciate any other feedback, and thanks for watching.